Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 47 in chapter 17. Chapter 17 is about temperature, thermal expansion, ideal gas law. So now you can see we have a tank, right? In this case, it is empty. And but it still contains air. The pressure is 34 atm. So P1 is 34 atm. And then we need to in input some air inside this tank to make it pressure becomes to uh, 204 atm full connected or right? full charged so we need to input some gas in, input some air inside to make it is a p2 reaches to 204 atm and what another quantity given is the v the volume of this tank is constant 12 uh, liter and also we know the temperature for this tank in these two cases will not change, right? So the temperature will not change when there's a, an air input. Now we can see uh, we the next step is how can we input this air inside? We have air compressor, another machine to input it, right? And we know in every minute, this com compressor will input the air to 90 liter. We need to find the time, how much time it takes air compressor to input this air inside. So first step, we need to find out how much air we need to fill this tank. Do you agree? So how much air need? And then we divide by this uh, uh, speed, we can get the time. So first step, we look at how much air we need. So now we look at ideal gas law, PV equal to NTR. Therefore, we can write the function for N. N is the more number of gas, right? PV divided by TR. So initial state N1, it is uh, empty, but it's not exact empty, some air inside, right? So N1 is P1 times V1, V divided by T times R. V is constant, T is constant, right? And now in this uh, situation, T N2 in final situation when it is filled, N2 is a more number of gas filled P2 times V divided by T times R. Agree? Yes. And uh, therefore the change the air input is use the final air minus initial air, right? N2 minus N1, the more number. N2 minus N1, so we get the function look like this one. Now this is the air we need to input. The next step, we can find the time. Agree? Yes. So now, because we know the more number of the gas, we need to convert it to the unit volumes, right? Because we know this is the more number of the gas, then we need to find how much liter of gas for corresponding to this uh, more gas. So now we look at the air compressor. We know the pressure for this case is just a 1 atm, the C level, right? 1 atm. Now we can see we have ideal gas P delta V equal to delta N T R. Agree? Yes. And is it, see, this uh, volume changes just uh, corresponding to this uh, more more number of more of gas changes, agree? So this is the change part of the air, this change part of the volumes, agree? Yes, so in this function, we can see the delta N equal to P times delta V divided by TR, right? From this function, we can get it there. Now you can see this is delta N, this is delta N, they are equal. So we write the left hand there, right hand is zero now tr tr can be cancelled we can get the delta v equal to p p2 minus p1 times v divided by p p right in this case we input the known quantities p1 p2 p and v so p1 p2 p and v we get the volumes changes for the air is 2040 liter. So that means the air compressor need to input the 2040 liter air inside this tank to satisfy all the requirements, right? 
Now we look at this compressor. In one minute, it can input two nine o liter. So how much time it needed? So we use the total volumes delta v divided by speed v. We get it is seven minute. Thank you.